this video, I'm going to show you how to add a JSON file and render the data into the HTML page. Welcome to TC. In this video, uh, you have this JSON file given to you or you're getting the JSON information through an API. This is just a small JSON, uh, which has got percentage online shipping. It's a key value pair, 25% off online only plus free shipping. And I have the index.js. If you look at line nine and 10, all I'm doing over here, I'm importing a jQuery library and I have a script tag with index.js. The index.js holds the entire logic. Right over here, I'm using jQuery, so document.getready function, and it takes a dollar sign kick dot get JSON. Inside that function, you will be looking at coupon.json, which is my file name. If you wanted to look at your data, all you have to do is do a console log dot data, and we're going to look at to see how the data looks like. I'm just going to do inspect. Go to console. Right over here, it says object. Obviously, the JSON file data is an object. And it shows online, percentage, and shipping. Just the three one which we saw in the file. So quickly close this. And how do we render it to the HTML? Right over here, we are using the dollar sign and the percentage, which is the class, the percentage. Right over here on line 21 class percentage and render it that by HTML and data dot percentage, which gives you the percentage amount. Same logic goes to dot omni dot HTML dot shipping dot HTML. And if it doesn't work, use a fail function and console log, check your code. And if you save this, all this information and go to your browser, you should see all this information. Just for the time I'm going to do a quick change to our coupon file. I'm just going to change from 25 to 50%. Save this. Go to your file. There you go. It is 50% now. This is how you add a JSON file and retrieve the JSON data to your HTML. Thank you for watching.